For me, it has to do a lot with press and time. As soon as I'm in my kayak and the water hits my face, everything just washes away. Time starts kind of slowing down. I'm just becoming one with a waterfall. Impact. I can look back at the waterfall and everything just makes sense right there. Being born in Mexico City, one of the biggest cities in the planet, I always have to drive about four hours out of the city to be in my kayak. And now, just landed in Washington, D.C. and really only traveled 15 minutes. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting in Great Falls National Park. The river basically flows right through the nation's capital. But for a whitewater kayaker, you know, that's pretty flat. And for me, that's kind of boring. Tom paddling in Veracruz in the eastern part of Mexico and it really caught my attention how someone his age can still push his kayaking abilities every day. So what year are we talking first descent of Great Falls of the Potomac? Uh, 75. Wow. We had never run waterfalls and then we started trying to figure out how to do it. And then of course it was not really the right way. <laughs> the way we ran them was bad. <laughs> As always happens in our sport, friendships happen fast. So I'm, I'm just excited to have Rafa paddling my home river. It's really cool to come to Great Falls and get to paddle with Jason and Tom, local legends from different generations. Great Falls is only about a quarter of a mile. <laughs> you know, boom, boom, boom. But you better do it right. Your life is in my hands, my life is in yours. Great Falls itself stacks up against the hardest rapids in the world. There are several things about the Potomac River that really stand out. For one, it's so unusual to have a river that's wild and untamed so close to a major city. In the 60s and 70s, the Potomac was terribly polluted. Tom McEwen seems to have passed safely through the most challenging part of his afternoon adventure. Yet, in fact, he's now exposed to a far greater danger than the rapids. When we first started paddling, I would go, and if I had a cut on my leg or something like that, it would get wet, and I would get infected. Now the river is safe enough to swim in. It's truly a model of what can be achieved with dedicated environmental stewardship. When you're in a city, we kind of lose track of the environmental impact that we have. As outdoor athletes, we have this opportunity to touch base with Mother Nature again. Rafa, he's a perfect person for running the falls. That's the kind of person you want to run the falls. Somebody who, he's really has some experience, you know. So he's gonna be able to look at the river, understand what's dangerous about it, gonna make good choices, and he'll have a lot of fun. For me, the best escape is just getting out on the river and getting in my kayak and kind of finding that happy place. Great Falls runs the gamut of the different types of whitewater that are available to kayakers. I'm just happy that Rafa has been able to see the different faces of this river. It doesn't matter how bad you're doing, as soon as you're in your kayak, kind of alive again. 